my channel. I hope you are all doing very well. As you can see, I have my mum with me. Lots of you are familiar with my mum and her channel. Today it is Friday afternoon, like late afternoon. It's about half past four. Leo has gone to his dad's for the weekend and me and my mum actually thought we would pop out to um, a shop. We're going to go to B&M, aren't we? We haven't been there for well, a couple of months. No. We wait for Christmas. No. So there's a B&M yeah. not far from us, probably about 20 minutes away. Um, I don't know what the traffic's going to be like because obviously it's going to be, it's Friday and it's work time. But we thought we would head over and have a look to see if they've got anything new in. I also thought I would share with you my new mug. So those of you who are regulars on my channel, you will know I bought big gingerbread mugs for Christmas from HomeSense. Absolutely love the size of them. And I just haven't been able to go back to a small mug since. So I've still been using my gingerbread. And then my mum today said, oh, I've got something for you. And look at my mug. So it's an Emma Bridgewater one. It's got my name on it. And it is a big one. So I can finally put the Christmas gingerbread mugs away now. <laughs> Um, because I have a nice another big mug. Um, so yeah, I've already been using it. So I'm going to finish this cup of tea and we're going to get in the car. We have probably spent the last half hour watching a deer outside, haven't oh, we? It's so it's been such a lovely afternoon as well, hasn't it? Yeah. So it's, been like, it's been like spring, it's been absolutely The sun lovely. has been shining, yeah. it just feels really nice. When I was mm. on the school run picking Leo up, the sun was on my face and yeah, I could have literally, I could have done with sunglasses driving in the car, but it was so nice just feeling the warmth. And then we come here, Leo um, got picked up by his dad. And then literally since then, we've been watching a deer out the window and Lovely. it was right at your yeah. fence, wasn't yeah. it? And it was literally looking at mm -hmm. us, eating the grass and carrying on like it wasn't fast. Normally when they clock you, they run away. But it was just looking at us, wasn't it? And do you know what? It's still out there now. Yeah. It's probably been like a good hour. Yeah. Um, I did take some clips, so I will insert some next for you to see because honestly, it's just so beautiful. Has the cutest bum as well, doesn't it? It's so, super cute, yeah. Um, so I'm going to finish my cup of tea and then we're going to go get in the car and head to B&M. So what I will do is I'll insert the clips of the deer next and then we will see you when we are off to B&M. just in the car just waiting for my mum she just forgot her phone so she just gone back in to get it also my lips if you watched my get ready with me video you will know that I said that I started putting lip balm on again and then my lips went really sore my mum's just coming in now um so I started not putting anything on them again and they've definitely improved I was just saying um when I did my get ready with me, remember before my lips, obviously I was suffering with them. Yeah. And then lots of people on my channel said, try putting nothing on them. So I went right. through a stage of putting nothing on them. Right. And then I don't know if you realised like a few days ago, they went, they kind of come up again quite bad. Right. Um, Cause I had been putting lip balm on because they got like really like dry and cracked on top. Um, so I was just saying that I've gone back to the last couple of days, not putting anything on them. Yeah. Um, and they've died oh, so down. They, yeah, they look, yeah. They look too bad. No. So I, yeah. So some of you said it might be something that's in the products that I've got that's yeah, irritating be. me. And obviously I'm allergic to hair dye so, and I'm quite sensitive. So it may well be um, something like that. So yeah, I thought I would just share that with you while we're waiting. My mum's got her phone now. I said you left your phone inside, didn't you? Yeah, you can't give that your phone, can you? Come all the way out and yeah. then such a lovely afternoon though. it just makes you feel better doesn't it seeing the sun mm. makes you feel like i feel like though as soon as the sun comes out it's like oh spring's coming it does feel like that doesn't it yeah but, you know, but i feel like it's a bit too early just, the traffic's to... quite bad that way should we go yeah, the other way it's that time of day isn't it yeah um but yeah i can't wait for spring now no i can't no the lighter evenings i have noticed the nights have started drawing out slightly it doesn't get dark now till about half five. So that was good. Well, nice chap deck around, that was good. It makes such a difference though, oh, doesn't it? Yeah. 
especially like when you come home from work and yeah just makes the days feel so much longer like I feel in the winter the evenings just feel like they fly by I feel like there's just no time I feel like time you've like had dinner sorted out the lunch for the next day it's, already yeah tired, and then it's like oh it's bedtime now like yeah. if I don't go to bed now I'm gonna be too tired the next day you're probably wobbling all the way around on this oh, bar stand yeah, again stand going thing. over a big like bump bit too um I just realized you can't even see <laughs> hiding in the corner Drop me off, I don't mind. but yeah I feel like there's just no time like I feel like time we've done everything it's like right sit down maybe watch something on TV, right, bedtime now. Whereas I feel like as soon as you have the lighter nights, you do yeah. feel more energized, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you to do more. But like today, because it's nice and sunny, you know, we've got I mean, a bit of yeah. free time now. We think, oh, we're going on B&M, yeah. so like that. Whereas if it's dark, rain, cold, wet, you won't want to, but do you want to go out? No, so. you want to stay in the warm, don't yeah. you? And that's one thing I love about like <laughs> spring and summer, is even like coming home from like the school run and going for a walk or, going to sometimes me and Leo will go to the park after school or and I just feel like it makes the evenings feel a lot longer I feel like yeah. you're just doing a lot more and um, so yeah I'm definitely ready for the lighter evenings now but yeah I mean I feel like spring's a long way away but I guess really it's not and obviously in the shops there's lots of Easter things you like you mentioned before well, think January's yeah got spring clothes swim yeah. stuff and Easter's early this year isn't it so it's not long at all no. I'm really hoping the traffic's not going to be too bad I feel like we've probably timed this wrong because we literally have to like drive across town um and what's the time now like 20 to 5 yeah, roughly 20 to 5, yeah. um so we'll see how we go I'm kind of hoping a lot of the traffic will be coming the other way but we'll see I haven't been to be in them for ages, quite looking forward to them all around there. No, I can't remember the last time we went I tell there. you, another place I want to go to soon is Ikea. The oh, yeah. have got some new stuff in there. In the... I absolutely mm. love going to Ikea. Especially the sweetest meatballs. But yeah, and, but my favourite thing of all is the dime bar cake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Swedish meatballs followed by the dime bar cake, yeah. like, honestly. We'll have to arrange a trip, won't we? Yeah. Soon. I just love going to Ikea. I feel like that's like a little day out really, isn't it? Yeah, go and buy anything, just look at Go and have a nose round, nice have the food. And the food's yeah. so cheap, isn't it? Yeah. Like You just have to plan it right so you're not queuing, don't you? Mm. So you know, we normally go in there first sometimes, don't we? And then not until yeah. after to beat the queue. We quite often go on a Sunday as well, don't we? Yeah. Instead of Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're in well, quite a lot of traffic yeah. now. Never mind. Yeah. The other place, TK Maxx. Oh yeah, I have to go there the weekend. I've we haven't been to TK Maxx for a while. Yeah. Um and obviously we absolutely love it. We haven't got any plans this weekend, have we? No. It's just quite nice really to do what we want. No, we need to do some cleaning. <coughs> we need yeah. to get Cassie the cat some tuna. Yeah. For those of you who are regulars on my channel, you will know Cassie absolutely loves her tuna. And I ran out this morning and she's been meowing at me since to be like, Where's my tuna? even though she has a cat biscuits and when she lived um with you she literally hardly ever had tuna did she like teaspoonful that like the maximum yeah. Tuna yeah and she wouldn't eat yeah. anymore and then yeah. since she's come to my house she literally just does not mm. stop eating tuna oh that's good isn't it yeah it's really good for her yeah um but yeah like i remember used to give it to her she used to eat a tiny bit and leave it didn't yeah. she yeah. but now honestly morning and the evening she's meowing for her tuna though she's changed yeah but... and like this morning i put it's down her cat biscuits having, yeah put down the biscuits yeah. and she looked at me like well hang on a minute where's the tuna oh. and then she was literally sat by the fridge meowing i was like i need to go and buy some more oh. and i wasn't even giving it to her every day like she was having some like maybe a couple of times a week and then the last like week and a half it's literally every day morning and night all she wants is tuna so maybe have a look and be an to see if they've got any yeah. tuna yeah the wedding spring water's best for it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But I literally just give her some and put it in the fridge. Mm. Um, so yeah, one one can does last her about two days. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she absolutely loves it now. 
but we are literally sat in loads of traffic so i think i'm gonna turn off the camera otherwise it's gonna be a, a very long car vlog yeah, I, until I was we get there actually what we're gonna watch says you're staying you're, I think yeah you're yeah staying, i'm staying you? you have to think what of something to watch what we, can we watch I wouldn't mind starting another one of little mini series. Or yeah, something. maybe another one of the series from that same writer. Yeah. Apparently, there's some more coming out. Apparently, right. the same writer is releasing some more. Yeah. Um, yeah, also, I think I'm sure I might be completely wrong. I feel like I saw a thing about Virgin River earlier saying that the next series is in November. Oh wow! Because they've started filming, but that might be completely wrong. Do you know sometimes when you see these posts, yeah, I think it was on Facebook or something, yeah. and sometimes the dates aren't right, are they? Um, so I'm not sure if it's 100% correct, but it said November. Also, I'm desperately waiting for the next series of um, the next season of Emily and Harris. That should be soon. Yeah, be cool. yeah, that's meant to be soon. Um, don't know if you guys have watched that. I absolutely love that. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will be out soon. Um, but yeah, I don't think. Oh, I've been watching Love Island All Stars. Have you and Dad been watching that? No. Sometimes you watch. No. We used to. We used to like Love Island, but um, I think because he's been doing an early shift. We, mm, it's quite late. Sad. Isn't it? We get in bed about nine o'clock. You need so to though, especially we, in the winter like when kept, you're waking we, up yeah, at that time. We, we kept saying we start watching it on catch up, but we just haven't got right to it. But yeah. Yeah, mind. I've been watching it, and normally I say to myself because I struggle in the mornings as it is. So I say to myself, I'm gonna record it and watch it the next day. And normally every time there's a series that starts at nine, that's what I do because otherwise time I watch it and then get sorted for bed and just ends up being really late. And yeah, it just makes it harder to get up the next day. So normally I say to myself, I'm gonna record it and watch it the next day. And then this series, I literally haven't. I've literally stayed up every night watching it i've been getting myself like all ready for bed taking a cup of tea up and watching it in bed so once it's finished i'm kind of there and i don't have to do anything um but yeah i'm not too sure what i think about it i am enjoying it it's just different because this time it's all all people that have been on the show before yeah. um yeah i'm enjoying watching it so that's on tonight but i probably won't watch that because obviously you guys haven't seen have, it yeah. so i have got it set to record so i can yeah. catch up on it we have watched a lot lately another time yeah, I, suppose, um, I feel like there's not much time though is there yeah, like i feel like no. i don't watch much in the evenings in the week well, apart I from home and away home, time you go in that and even time we've had dinner or whatever mm. and you go back or whatever if you've come over and cooked or whatever it's you, you know we sort of like have six seven o'clock isn't it mm. so then i got sort of stuff to sort out whatever for the next mm. day and uh then and when we literally time. like go yeah. home and watch home and away absolutely love home and away oh, yeah is there any that. other home and away lovers on here yeah that's one thing that i watch i don't watch any of the other soaps you do don't you emmerdale that's the only one emmerdale that's the only one we watch but i literally don't watch any of the other soaps but home and away i literally have to watch every day um yeah we've been watching that for years haven't we yeah for those of you who don't know it's an australian um soap isn't it it's really yeah we like it it's easy watching isn't yeah. it yeah <coughs> like most of the but no, I do like Emmerdale. You, you're not a fan of Emmerdale, are you? No. I do like Emmerdale. I think it's one of those things that, like, I remember when I was at home, like you and you and Dad used yeah. to watch like Emmerdale, Carnage, well, Street Senders. That's it. I think I was brought up with it. My dad always. And watched then you get it. into it, and then you yeah. then you're like, oh, I wonder what happens. Yeah. And then it's I don't. One of those you can pick up anytime. Yeah, I don't watch them at home. So then I'm just I don't have that thing then of that I want to watch it. I literally just I watch Home and Away. Um, watching Love Island. There's a few shows that I watch on MTV, but apart from that, I literally just watch Netflix. Um, YouTube. Yeah, I watch a few channels <laughs> on YouTube. Actually, we don't watch so many now as we used to. We used to during lockdown, that's what got us into YouTube, wasn't it? We used yeah. to watch loads, didn't we, on YouTube? Because there was nothing else to watch, was there? Nothing else to do, really. But yeah, I, I must admit, this I struggle sometimes finding sort of. Sometimes it's hard to find Something new YouTubers on, yeah, as well, isn't it? Yeah, if you've got any like we were looking yesterday, that, you, know, you can recommend that you enjoy watching. Let us know because it'd be nice to sort of mm. follow some different ones, wouldn't it? Yeah, like I have a few of my favourites that I tend to like watch all the time, um, and there's a few travel ones that I really enjoy watching. But yeah, we were saying the other day it'd be nice to find some new, Content new, yeah, different people to watch. Like, yeah. 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 
Yes, I find it hard. I don't know how you, you know people find all these new channels then, because I really struggle. I seem to get the same ones coming up. I don't seem to, you know, mm. to know what to search for. I suppose, but that's been watching a lot actually. I've quite enjoyed them as well. Of um, people in their uh, motorhomes traveling around yeah. the country. Yeah, he watches them all the time. Yeah, doesn't he? and. Yeah, I've got into some of them. To be fair, he's probably, probably watching more YouTube than we have well, been yeah, the last. Yeah, probably has actually. Yeah, no, since the start of the he year. Likes those. Um, I might have seen a few of those, and they've been quite interesting. I do like the travel ones. But as it gets near the summer, we watch all the Greece ones, don't we? we yeah. Love watching them, don't we? Yeah. Um, yeah, I like watching the travel ones. Yeah. We tend to watch like jumping places quite yeah. a lot, um, and there's a few other ones, isn't there? In our case, but like that when they moved to Greece, yeah, and they moved to Zanti, well, didn't they? Yeah, they moved to Zanti, so that's great. Oh, they they did one the other week, um, a picture of the shipwreck, how it looks now because it got damaged. Yeah, the change in the yeah, storm. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let us know. Let us know if you've got any good YouTubers you watch. You know, and take a look. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's just nice to find some new. Some new people, isn't it? Yeah, that's it? And they yeah. don't have to be like big channels. No, like, no, no. like I do love Ellie Darby, Emily Norris, um, Lisa. Yeah. I can't think what her yeah. name is now. Lisa Prejudice. Pred yeah. Pred um, something like that, isn't it? But it's quite nice to watch some like smaller channels as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, right. I'm going to turn off the camera now, and because we are moving now, and I will video in B&M if there's anything new in or good to show you like I said we literally haven't been there for ages have we so we don't know what no. it's going to be like no so air fryer air fryer spray or high heat cooking simply use a few sprays easy to use direct applications I've not seen that before oh. 149 I like these yeah they're nice aren't they, they? are nice aren't they you've got the vinegar and That's the olive oil, the olive oil. These are good, don't they? Dust magnet starter kit. I've seen lots of people using these. Oh, I might get one, try it. So that's $2.99 for the starter kit and then you can get the refills. This is the mop that I used in my cleaner video. So this is $19.99 in here. This is the flash power mop, the starter kit, and then you can get the um, refill pads, $5.99. But I do also have the speed mops as well. And they have the different scent wipes for those. like that mirror there the pebble mirror I like the un unusual shaped ones that's 24 pounds that's quite a nice shape one as well the oval mirror not overly big but 20 pounds oh bath pillow oh my god Leo would love that he literally lays in there as it is sometimes like put something on his iPad or I would never get him out of the bath if I had that in my house They're cute aren't they I really like this, five pounds, but shampoo, conditioner, shower gel. They've also got it in like a light gray. They've got these that are only a pound, two pound. These baskets are cute too. These are good too, like you can put cotton pads in these. 
four pound I love these colors more kind of the natural colors do really really like these we've also got the black with the wood little storage shelves I need to go and catch my mum up now she seems to be whizzing ahead of me what have you found Microfiber microfiber block with bonus refill, no chemicals, just water. Ah, that's interesting, isn't it? Ooh. It's close to 120 centimetres. That'd good be good in your shower and that as well. Yeah, I was thinking um, this lint, hair and lint removing brush set. It's good for the carpets. Yeah. Get all the Cassie cat hair off. <laughs> I actually love these. So you've got like your powder look, your scents, two pound, one pound fifty. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. These are nice too. So these are plain ones. Like you've got these ones. These are cute as well. Housekeeping, yeah, tins, pegs, it? washing. They're good, aren't they? So these ones are six pounds. These are nine pounds. I love things. I feel like we've come at a really good time though because it's like super quiet in here isn't it yeah. I think because it's like the time that everyone's like finishing work like it's about five o'clock now so yeah super quiet in here and it's actually nice to just about to have like a real mute around and it not be really busy um yeah definitely different to coming on a weekend oh I love that 10 pound reminds me of like a shell that's really pretty I do like these little like not candles as well, £2. These are oh. cute too. Look at that as well. £4. Where's that? Oh, I love that. And I love that. That reminds yeah. me of the member in Matalan. They had this and it had with the plant in it. Yeah. This is super cute. How much is this one? £8. That's good. Isn't yeah. It? And I do love this one. This is £8 too. I mean, I really like that. Is that, is that a yeah. candle? Like a can, candle, yeah, like a tea light holder. That's super cute. That's lovely as well. That is a candle. I do love those vases though. Nice, They're so good. pretty. This is nice as well. It's nice, isn't it? That is nice. 15 pound. Really tall one. cute little tray too. I love these little pumps. They're super cute, four pound. They got a black one, eight pound. This is also super cute. Those are nice vases. These are nice as well. You, know, you could put pop your ray or something in them. This is a nice candle as well. It's got like the little handles on it. Four pound this one, this one's reduced. So this is so similar to the one that I got in Primark, which I paid two pound for. This is four pound. These would be super cute in the kids' bedroom. Walk in the wildflowers. Be kind. Love those. This is pretty, this is ten pounds. Just loving these pots with the handles. This is lovely too. I think this would look lovely in a kitchen. Fifteen pound. These are all really nice. Like these, They're cute, aren't they? £3.50, they these look lovely good. in your house. Yeah, let's get a couple of those. These little cute pots as well. Like the um, bowls and the plates. These little bowls are quite cute. Oh, look at these. Love the bunnies. They're nice. They're little designers in there, could they? Yeah, they're little personal size. What are they, £3? They're good, aren't they? Oh, that's quite nice. 
Yeah, that's nice. They've got these cute little pots too. Like yeah. these, yeah. Casserole, little casserole. Little casserole. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, £3.50. Yeah. I saw a white one along here. That's nice as well, look, with the wooden board under it, the little casserole yeah. dish, £3. We've got our white one with the lid. I like that they've got the little wooden boards under them. I think that's super cute. Yeah, It'd be nice on the table. Yeah, that's nice. Those little casserole dishes got like little wooden boards under them. I think yeah, that's super cute. Okay. I love these as well. I keep seeing these everywhere. Like the, I think Matalan had them. I think I did them in Matalan. They've got all their garden stuff coming in now as well. Oh, look, a little hedgehog house. £15. You could have oh, something yes, like that. Yeah. Squirrel Cafe. All well, these different bird feeders, swing bench bird feeder, little surf shack. <laughs> Super cute. I love these little houses. I think they're nice, aren't they? So we've just come out of B&M and honestly, like, it is pitch black now outside. It was so sunny when we went yeah, in, wasn't yeah. it? And we've literally been in there. How long have we been in there? About 30 minutes, you think? I don't know uh, what the time is. Might be longer because we did have actually, like a real meet. It's a bit longer. I reckon we've been in there probably 45 minutes. It's so it's half, day. it's half five now. But it was quiet, wasn't it? So it was quite yeah. nice to have like a good mooch around and have yeah. a good look. We well, even skipped two, two or three rows yeah. that we weren't interested in because it's a lot to go up and down, isn't it? Yeah. They had quite a few sale rows, but it was a lot of like um little pieces wasn't it yeah. um yeah loads of aisles that just had like storage boxes we didn't go and we didn't look at any of like the um decorating stuff or the outside bit no, did we i'd like to have a look outside go back another day yeah, to look outside, because i did get some nice plants last year right there um yeah. But yeah, so we're going to head home now. So I was going to show you what we picked up in the car, but because it's obviously really dark now, <laughs> um, I think when we get back to my mum's, we will show you what we picked up. I only picked up two items. You picked up quite a few things, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. And so yeah, when we get back, we will show you those. So just back at my mum and dad's house now, and I thought we could share with you what we picked up in B&M. It's just kind of normal, every day-to-day -day things. My mum is here too. She's just the other side of the camera. Um, I only picked up a few things. You picked up quite a few more, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, just basic cleaning stuff. But yeah, food, just kind yeah. of like everyday things that we needed. But I thought we could share it with you. I'm also going to put Leo's lunchbox into my mum's dishwasher. If you watched my previous um, video, my evening routine, every day after school, I tend to just wash Leo's lunchbox out, just give it like a wipe over. But then on a Friday, I kindly come over and say to my mum, Mum, can I please put Leo's lunchbox in your dishwasher? Um, just because I find it just gives it a bit of a deep clean. And it also cleans like the outside. Um, yeah, just really freshens it up. So we're going to do that while I'm here also. Um, if I share with you what I picked up, um, and then do you want to share what, what you picked up yeah, as well? Yeah, can do. Yeah, do you want to come into the camera? Yeah, so okay. I only picked up a few things. So I picked up some more tea bags. So I got the Yorkshire tea. I absolutely love these um, and they say on here 175 but I think they were cheaper than that. I think they were like 140 or 160 so I got those. Picked up some bold wash tabs. Now normally I'd go for a Spring Awakening but the Spring Awakening ones were like 649 mm. and these pink blossom, were they 499 yeah, it was around yeah, that, wasn't it? Yeah. Time, wasn't so it? I thought I'm not paying the extra like two pound just for the different scents. So I'm going to try these pink blossom. And you picked up these I two, didn't you? As well, yeah. And then the other item I picked up, very exciting item, was some cat litter. Um, I haven't tried this one before, but this says diamond lavender. So yeah, I thought we would try that one out. Normally I get it from Home Bargains or Aldi. But yeah, just picked up this one in B&M. And then, do you want to show what you've got? So you picked up the same washing tabs, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, the same washing tabs. So you picked up the same pink blossom washing tabs. These for the Becky and my, uh, the grandkids and my son and other daughter, they do like occasional kind of dark coat and they come in, oh, we've got dark coat now. I don't think they buy it themselves. I think they just come and have it for me. Yeah. So this is on offer, was it 6 6 50 for 18 pounds, yeah. so yeah, that's not bad, so it lasts a little while. What else did I pick up? 
Oh, cornflakes, I think they were £2.20 for Dad because he likes those for breakfast. It's quite a big packet as well, yeah. isn't it? The cereals have got quite expensive, haven't they? Oh, I did pick up, um, we like to take these to work, don't we, yeah, for snacks snack. sometimes. They're Balvita oh, biscuits, this is the honey and nut with chocolate chips. They're quite nice. That's a big pack again, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're two ninety nine. Yeah. I absolutely love those for a snack for work or dipping in a cup of tea. And they're only 50 calories a biscuit, so I think they're quite low on sins as well. Mm. So, yeah, so there's quite a few, 12 packs in there. It's good, isn't it? Because they are individually wrapped, so they're good to take yeah, as a snack. Yeah, the ideal snack. And Leo likes them as well, doesn't yeah. he? Uh, I also picked up some white vinegar spray. I need to give my windows a clean, so I'm going to try this. That was only £1 from the Yeah, that was £1.25, yeah. something like that. It's quite reasonable. Oh, these were yours, aren't oh, they? Yeah, these are mine. So I picked up these big super noodles in the curry flavour. Um, I just love having these in the cupboard because they're a quick go-to or I can take them to work. Um, but yeah, I just find them really tasty, the curry flavour, and they've got peas and that on in them. But yeah, just a quick lunch, so I like having those in the cupboard. And this is for the cat. Yeah, tuna. My treat for the cat. So it's tuna in spring water. It's better for them to have spring water than it is to have the brine. Yeah, she's going to absolutely that. love those. Uh, what else did I get? She wouldn't have forgive me. The cat honestly would not forgive me if we come home without no. tuna. Rice, oh, I got that in Aldi. We stopped in yeah. Aldi on the back of that in Aldi. Is that everything you've got in B&M? Um, yeah, I think it was. Oh, no, I've got another bag over there, actually. Yeah, I was going to say. That's the Aldi bag, isn't it? That's the Aldi after. Yeah. So on the way back from B&M, we stopped in Aldi to get a few things for dinner. Oh, I'll show you the oh, yeah. noodles. Another super noodles. They're just handy to have in the cupboard. Oh, I picked that up in Aldi. Um, just put it in the top of this bag in the car. We had a panic. We went into Aldi and the spirit shelves were empty, empty weren't they? Yeah. Nothing there. And I said, oh, they stopped doing them. And I said, no, surely not. And we went to the till and they had a few old bottles on the end of the aisle, didn't they? And I said to the chap, I said, have you stopped doing spirits? He said, no. He said, what are you after? We've got them at the back. He said, we're only allowed to put a maximum of six out at a time. And then, of course, once they're gone, you have to wait for somebody else to go yeah. back and fill them up. But that was for all the spirits in there, apparently uh, the high risk items. So, yeah. So, yeah. I got a bottle of so gin. I do like to keep a bottle of gin. I don't mind the gin coming from the weekend. But you nearly thought you weren't going to have a gin. Yeah. I, I actually haven't really had a drink since Christmas. Or... No, you haven't. You've been no. very good, haven't you? I do like the occasional gin and tonic. I'm just not on the weekend when I'm watching a film or something. So, yeah. uh, please request for you for tonight. You want the bacon? Yeah. Really so these are the wheat crunchies, crispy bacon, and I absolutely love these. And these are only 99 calories. Yeah, so that's um, quite good. I've even a packet of those on my stomach. Mm -hmm. I think they're only about three cents, I think. I don't have them often, but they're so yeah, tasty. They're when really I see them, I'm like, oh, I'm really fancy that. I picked up these. These were 125. These are really these, good, aren't yeah, they? Little jams. I mean, these remind me of holiday, do you know, like yeah. when you go in the shop and you pick up like yeah. jam. Well, if you have a scone cream and jam or whatever, it's nice to have the little pot on the side, isn't it? Because yeah. like a jar, unless you keep it in the fridge, it can go mouldy very quick, especially if you get a little bit of butter in it or anything. It's so I just handy, like, yeah, like I like to look for those. And I've never tried these. You, you said I that videoed you, this, yeah. Good, yeah. When we were in the shop. So this is the Flash Dust Magnet Starter Kit. Um, and actually lots of people have these and you get, they're like, they are disposable, um, so you can get replacement ones and you kind of pop them on, dust around. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting, interesting to see, because like, yeah, yeah, I've seen people doing this where they kind of like put it down the radiator or on like the, the um, Venetian blinds. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what they're like. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give them a try sort of underneath my radiators and things. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, see what they are. Okay, um, oh, just some double clip food bags. Yeah. And they were two pounds. Charbon's mango chutney, so we're going to have a curry tonight, yeah, so we? we're going to have a curry. And I was, we went into Aldi to get a few things. And when we picked up the curry stuff, I said to my mum, oh, I really fancy a mushroom curry. And you were a bit like, mushroom? Mm. Um, has anyone else had a mushroom curry? Like, mushroom curry is definitely a thing. Um, yeah, I actually love a mushroom curry. So we've got some Sharwood's mango chutney. And then we have to have the uh, poppadons to go with it. Yeah, so we've got the Sharwood's poppadons. I love poppadons and I love naan bread. And the family Sharwood's chicken. This is actually chicken. a really big one, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, family value, tikka masala. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. And just a tin of tomatoes. I quite fancy tomatoes on toast. That's probably on similar mm -hmm. world. Dad does chopped tomatoes. And he likes yeah. chopped tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I picked up this. It's just to put my toothbrush in that in. It's only a pound. Got that in home little bargains. Yeah, little toothbrush holder. That matches the black soap dispenser I've got. Um, this is just some pack of beers for Dad. John just a pack of John Smiths. I think they're a fiver. Is that everything for being there? That's everything for being there. So uh, then, is that yeah. yeah, then we yeah, went to just, Aldi, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So then we went to Aldi to get some things for dinner. So my mum got her gin. We got some more long grain rice, and this is just the easy boil in a bag for dinner tonight. So we, got some mushrooms, we then yeah. got the mushrooms for the so mushroom, just curry. mushroom curry. <laughs> Honestly, you're going to love it if you love mushrooms. Honestly, I could just eat mushrooms all day long. So. Um, so we've got some baby button mushrooms and also some chestnut mushrooms. Essentials, milk. Yeah. <laughs> and what else have you got in there? Mm -hmm. some, um, <coughs> pesto. Oh, that's good. It's got on like pasta, pasta and that for lunches. Yeah. I have got another delivery coming tomorrow, but it's a few things I've got to order. So we've got some cooked chicken breast slices. Because we know Dad won't want, Vegetable, you know, he won't curry, want a mushroom so curry. So my mum thought we could put some chicken yeah. in there. Um, oh, we did get some fine green beans. So we've got some green beans that we thought we could put in with the mushrooms as well. So originally, I said about the mushroom curry. Then we said, I said, well, you can have a vegetable curry. Um, which we have had before, but we went into Aldi and there was no like sugar snap peas, no, no baby corn, there was, there was just there. nothing really. So no, we just picked just up right. some. I think they're not getting stuck. No, so we just picked up some green beans to put yeah. with the mushrooms just to add a bit of colour and a bit more flavour. Then you got some crumpets for the yeah. morning and some chocolate flavoured waffles leo loves these and i quite like these leo likes these toasted in the morning for his breakfast mm. i'm sure all the other grandkids are going to love those i'm sure they will oh just some tonic water some no oh sorry <coughs> excuse me some no calorie tonic water go with the gin. Go with gin so that was everything wasn't it yeah so we are now literally just going to start dinner um i've changed my meals of the week videos slightly that go up every friday I've done it more this week um, as like a vlog style. So do let me know what you think. Um, so I'm gonna film cooking the dinner again tonight. Um, and then we are literally just gonna have dinner and chill the rest of the evening, find something to watch, mm. aren't we? Yeah, find a film or a series or something. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have your gin and tonic, even though we can cook. After you enjoy your mushroom <laughs> curry. Yeah. Um, I'll let you know what it's like. Right. Yeah. It. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do the weekend, but I will probably pick up the camera and vlog again. And I will get my mum to let you know what she thinks of the mushroom curry. Honestly, if any of you have had a mushroom curry before, then please comment below and let me know um, like what you think of it. I mean, you do have to love mushrooms. I feel like... Well, I like, like mushrooms. I like mushrooms. I feel like so quite a lot of people don't like mushrooms yeah. and I don't like the texture of mushrooms. It doesn't sound mushroom curry, just doesn't sound mm -hmm. that. See mushroom either. curry. Let well, me yeah. see. Hopefully it'd be quite nice. So yeah, so if I pick up the camera over the weekend and vlog, I'll let get my mum to let you guys know what she thinks of that mm. one. Um, and then, like I said, my Meals of the Week videos that go up every Friday now are more of like a vlog style. So I'm filming a bit more of me actually cooking the meals. So do let me know your feedback. Do you prefer it like that? Because before you didn't really see me in the videos. It was kind of just, I showed you what, what they looked like, what I was doing, the ingredients. Um, so yeah, I am kind of, making them a bit more vlog style by putting a bit more of me actually cooking in them so yeah let me know your feedback on that as well so i am going to end this video here yeah um thanks for joining me oh you're welcome and we will see you again soon goodbye everyone Bye.